Wow, look at all the people snorkeling. They're looking for uh, the turtles. Dad, what do you think <laughs> of Maui? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. One of the best places in the world. Beautiful beaches, huh? Uh -huh. Mom, what do you think? Beautiful. That's it? Uh -huh. That's the only adjective? Amazing. Amazing, okay. Mm -hmm. This is Kalapua. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But snorkeling was fine. Grandma is chilling. Nice shades, Grandma. Grandma, nice shades, nice sunglasses. What Sunglasses, what's up? Look at all the poke. Yeah. This one is soy sauce, spicy, ahi. What is this, wasabi? Very nice. I want to focus in dish. Yeah, this is okay. it's very fresh. So you don't smell any of the fish. Nice chewing texture. I think I'm gonna stick to this dish for the rest of the trip. Aloha guys. There's been one food that our family has been uh, loving since we've uh, arrived in Maui and that is Hawaiian style poke. I try it out uh, here while we've been vacationing because I want to learn the recipe and I want to take it back home with me to Korea. Of course, I don't know if they have fresh ahi, they probably don't, but uh, you know, it's worth learning. So let's do this quick. I'm sunburned out. My, my, my face is glowing right now, as you can see. I need to jump back in the ocean, all right, guys? So let's start. We start check out this kitchen it's beautiful we just did an airbnb so that we can cook you know what we want to eat instead of eating out because maui is so expensive by now i've memorized what good tasting poke tastes like and i'm trying to replicate it so i found one recipe off of hawaiimagazine.com let me try it and let me tell you if it's the the similar to what i've been tasting here so the first thing we're going to need is of course fresh ahi you want sashimi quality usa wild caught fresh very nice but also very very expensive so we're gonna need one pound in total and look at this beauty when it's fresh it doesn't smell like fish mm, i love it gotta smack it if you like it very nice let's just pat this down I pretend like i'm a sushi chef and i know what i'm doing cube them into small blocks guys i was thinking of buying a whole fish and filleting it do i really want to sit indoors and be filleting a fish all this time nope this looks like almost like a watermelon piece you know Boop. These watermelon cubes look good to me. I found this ridiculous plate in the corner. I think it's supposed to be a serving plate or something. I don't know, but it looks perfect for poke. So the fish now has uh, some meat again. This Airbnb, it also even has measuring cups. I mean, this is like this house was waiting for me. You know what I mean? Waiting for us, the neighbors. All right, guys, a fourth cup of soy sauce. All right, in. Then one stalk of green onion, forearm length and more. Ugh. That's about one fourth cup, put it in. And then in the market, I saw a Maui onion and these things are tiny, they're petite. You know, I think they get so much sun and love here on this island that, you know, they don't have this ambition to gain all this money and fame and, 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 and legacy, you know? They're, they're happy just the way they are, you know? All right guys, and of course you're not gonna have Maui onions, but just pick out any onions that are uh, confident. But I wonder if this is really sweet. Let me give it a taste. Hmm. Oh, <coughs> just like any other onion. Same thing, just about a fourth cup. Save the rest of the confidence for an omelet. Then we're gonna drop in two teaspoons of sesame oil. One teaspoon in, second teaspoon in. Then I just cut a piece of ginger. I need uh, to grate this. Let's see if they have anything in the cupboard. And moo, yes they do. So I'm gonna just grate uh, this one. Which side looks good? Sorry for whoever's gonna eat cheese in this place after. One teaspoon in. And then of course, guys, some sesame seeds. Let's do two teaspoons. One, two. And I think I'm gonna be the only person on the plane coming back from Maui with a tub of sesame seeds. <laughs> How am I gonna eat all of this? All right, and I pulled out a random whisk from the cabinet, uh, but we're gonna mix this up. That's the marinade. Let's give it a quick taste. That's nice, guys. But it's slightly bland, so I'm gonna do three or four shakes of salt. So let's see. It's one. Four. Give this a quick mix one more time. Oh, that's perfect. Now we have the fish, it's meat. You know, we gotta give it some water, you know, put it back in its element. And then find another random instrument and slightly 
mix this in. Yes. All right, and guys, there it is. Oh my gosh. Guys, look how delicious that looks out of this golden ahi. If there was plastic wrap in this Airbnb, I would cover it with it. But we work with what we got. We cover him up and then straight. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Into the ocean for two hours. In the meanwhile, yes, yes, yes. Let me get my bikini. Yes. This is a small view of uh, Kihai. We we're up north in uh, West Maui. Love Napoli Bay. But uh, today, Dad, you look like a lobster. Lobster? <laughs> <laughs> About two hours for the soy sauce to soak in. Wow, looks beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Looks beautiful, huh? Yeah. Wow. wow. Better than we just bought it. Yeah, let's try it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try, try it. it. Can I try? Yes. yes. Where's the chopstick? Mm. What do you think? Actually, much, much better than we we bought it the at the market yeah market it's very simple it's mm -hmm. just soy sauce and uh ginger mm. that's the primary taste but wow grandma what do you think let's stop <laughs> <laughs> she says bashita before she even tastes it dad is chilling relaxing what did you think about the snorkeling oh ah, wow like a Time, yeah. Yeah, so that's kind of, uh, it's a good time to see play with the fish. I, I, I saw a lot of uh, fish uh, hanging out. Welcome to Hawaii.